To play the kena, the Andean flute, the most difficult part is getting a tone. The flute is a simple flute with holes, similar to many flutes around the world, but the embouchure is quite difficult to get a good tone. So to get a good tone takes a while. So the first thing you want to do is work on your embouchure. The embouchure is what you have to do with your mouth, lips and teeth in order to blow correctly. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, put your lips together, like you're making the sound f like this. F f okay, like, f like F. F then you have to add a little pressure by making the upper, upper lip put it against your teeth. Both lips against the teeth sideways, like this. Okay, now we're going to bring the lips a little closer yet. Like this. And the jaw goes out a little bit. Now the reason for the jaw to go out is because one of the big problems in getting a good turn in the kenna is that the upper lip comes down and covers the aperture like this. See this upper lip is too loose. Never get anything. You have to make it tight. Tight. Okay, there's a good amount of pressure too from the canna against the lower teeth. And F. Just like that. Now, you have to play with the position. You, as you play, you play in different ways. You can play with the position up, up or down, sideways, and thus to accommodate for your teeth. Okay, so everybody's teeth are different. So you have to work to find the right position for your teeth. They can have to be quite safe there. So I'm going to do it correctly for myself. So when you work in this process, I encourage you to experiment. Don't try to imitate 100% what I do. Imitate the overall principle of tight lips, lower lip back a little bit, jaw out a little bit, pretend you're blowing into your nose or into your hair, and do it. Do it like this. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. I'm going to end it straight. Important when you do the two to two not to move anything. Now you jab your lips nothing. Your tongue is behind doing the two two two. But look at my lips, they're not gonna move at all. Okay, look at it. And again experiment by going up, down or sideways. A mirror is very useful too. You can use a mirror to make sure that the, that the opening of the lips is not very big. The opening of the lips cannot be any bigger than the aperture. Okay, that's about it for the technique of the lips. And it takes a long time to develop. Okay, and don't be discouraged. It takes a while. It can take a good three, four months or six months to give strong lips technique. After that, you start playing with the holes. Well, the holes are quite simple. They're just like any other flute. So there's not much complication here. This is the part that is complicated. So again, to resume, make sure both lips, upper and lower, are tight against your teeth, like this. Tight. Make sure there's a tiny little hole where the air comes out the smallest possible okay also when you blow make sure you now don't move anything everything is in place like so don't go don't move anything if you move you lose the tone if I go move it nothing happens tight So that should be the focus for a few weeks. You have never played the canna. Just focus on the tone. The fingering is quite simple.